in the spiritual transition that has taken place in our organization on this week. There are three words which the Holy Spirit desires to imprint upon our spirits as we prepare to depart from Atlanta and return to our various responsibilities and occupations both in the kingdom of God and in the secular arena across this nation and around the world. Those three takeaway words from Atlanta are number one, transition. Let everyone in the sanctuary say transition. transition. The second word that we want to take home is the word transfer. Let everyone say transfer. transfer. The third word that we want to have imprinted upon our spirit is the word transformation. Everyone say transformation. transformation. These are not just words, they are keys. And I want you to put these words in your spirit. You will need them when you return home from the convention. The three key words from Atlanta are again, number one, transition. Number two, transfer. transfer. And number three, transformation. transformation. The word transition is defined as the process or a period of changing from one state or condition to another. The process or a period of changing from one state or condition to another. These synonyms further describe the word transition. Those words would be change, passage, movement, yes. conversion, metamorphosis, alteration, change over, and the word I'm particularly concerned with today, handover. Transition deals with change, passage, movement, conversion, metamorphosis, alteration, change over, and hand over. As good as the good old days were, under Bishop Watkins, under Bishop Abney, under Bishop Wagner and Bishop Tillman, and, and soon to be Bishop David Hollis. We cannot go back to the way we used to be. As creating, I did come to prophesy. As creating and innovating, as the Bishop Charles Haywood Ellis and Pastor Purdue administration has been, neither can we afford to just mark time and stay where we are. We must continue yes. to evolve into the organism yes. that God has in his mind for this IPYPU to impact the world in this hour. Yes. I cannot emphasize enough to this incoming administration, to every state president, to every young person, who is a constituent of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the world, the urgency for you to pray for the Issachar anointing. Ask God to give you an understanding of the times. If we do not understand the times, if we do not understand the origin of the spirits that are driving trends in our country, culture, politics, economics, fashion, and entertainment, the PFW runs the risk of becoming a spiritual dinosaur in a rapidly changing world. Young people, God told me to tell you 
It's on you to return the Pentecostal assemblies of the world and your councils and your local churches to cultural relevance in the religious sector. If Young People's Night of the Council looks just like, feels just like, sounds just like Missionary Night of the Council, the young people ain't coming, and I ain't either. You can claim to be an old soul and act like Methuselah in a young person's body. You can dig in and say, I just want to have some good old-fashioned church. But you'll be having church with the same 100 people that you've been having it with. Because God is not looking for church now. God is calling for change. I want you to touch these three people and tell them God called for change. God is calling for change. The second takeaway word is the word transfer. That word transfer uh, is defined to change from one place to another. The word transfer means a change of route. It means a change of mode of transportation. Not at the end of a journey, but during the journey. Synonyms that deal with the word transfer are move or conveyance, shift, relocation, removal, switch, and transplantation. The Holy Ghost said we're moving too slow in a world that is moving so fast. One of the synonyms for transfer is that word shift. The Spirit of God is saying it's on you, the young people, to strategically, aggressively, but respectfully shift the paradigm of leadership in your local churches. Now understand that I am not telling you to go home and schedule an appointment with your pastor and tell him or her, Bishop Tyson, told me to come home and tell you what to do. No, your assignment is to hear the dream of God for the ministry coming from the mouth of your pastor. The dream of God originating from the spirit of your pastor for your community, for your city, for your state, for young men see vision. It is your responsibility to get in prayer and retrieve the strategy out of the realm of the Spirit from God on how to make great happen. My father said that uh, with the late great Bishop Norman Wagner, then Elder Norman Wagner, became my father's assistant pastor at Mount Calvary in Youngstown, at the age of 24, whenever my father had an idea that he wanted to implement, he said Bishop Wagner, through the impetus of his own self-initiative, would go into prayer and return to my father within seven days with a detailed written plan with timelines and manpower on initiative to fruition. My dad said he never had to tell Bishop Wagner anything twice. He never had to ask him, have you done what I asked you to do? There are three things that Bishop Wagner taught me that all dream keepers must be. Number one, he said dream keepers must be, everyone shall connected. He's he said, you must be connected. He was connected, number one, to the dream for the house and not just for himself. Yes. A spirit has come in among us where we have great initiative.
initiative to make our name great and to build a platform for our ministry with no concern for the advancement and the development of the local church. But I want to advise you today that charity begins at home. If you can't be faithful in your home church, if you can't sing in your home choir, if you cannot attend all night prayer in your own church, God is about to shut the door to the rest of the world for everyone whose agenda is to make their own name great. But is there anybody here today that has a desire to make the name of Jesus great? If you're in that number, give God a resounding praise right now. Let somebody and tell them, stay connected to the house. Stop floating from church to church. Talk about I'm a cyber saint. Well, you got your cyber pastor, but when you're when you get sick, your cyber pastor not coming to see you in the hospital. When your bad kid gets locked up in jail, your cyber pastor is not coming to bail Booky and Pookie and them out. But uh, when uh, you have a death in your family, the cyber pastor is not going to offer to help pay for the funeral and bury your loved one. I don't care if there's another mega church on the internet 25 hours a day. You still have a responsibility to stay connected to the house of God where you have responsibility and accountability and it's awful quiet up in this side of church. Tell somebody stay connected. Number two, he said dream keepers must remain committed. He was committed to uh, the vision of the pastor. You do the church no good just sitting up in the back of the balcony, ostracizing and criticizing everything that your church is not doing. It's not doing it because you are not making a great happen. You cannot expect 60 and 70 year old people to think like 16 and 17 year old people. They may have wisdom, they have stability, they have experience, but vision is the responsibility of the young people. Thirdly, he said dream keepers must be dedicated. He was dedicated, I'm talking about Bishop Wagner, dedicated to the development of other people. Being the young people's president at Mount Calvary, was the genesis of what came to be known as Pentecost in perspective. Being the young people's president at Calvary was the genesis of becoming the national young people's president. Being faithful in his home church was the origin of becoming the presiding bishop of the Pentecostal assemblies of the world. Don't think God is just going to let you jump to the topic. Somersault over people that have been faithful. Because God is not looking for famous. God is looking for faithful. Somebody give God praise here now. Yeah. Brother Sound, man, uh, give me just a little more push here. And, uh, I'm going to leave you in just a minute. I, I'd like for everyone to touch the person uh, next to you and tell them no person. Stop that whispering in the sanctuary. Open your mouth and tell them no person can ever claim to be great who has not made someone else greater than yourself. Reach over and touch one other person. And that, that, that did you hear what God said? That, tell them no person can ever claim to be great who has not made someone else greater than yourself. Now you can say that Jordan is greater than LeBron all you want to say it, that he has more championships, uh, that Jordan had more championships than LeBron, but LeBron is in the business of making young people greater than himself. He's starting schools, he's educating young people, he's paying off bills and, and more 
mortgages and, and tuitions and creating opportunities uh, for somebody else. Uh, and I've come to prophesy today uh, every opportunity uh, that you create for somebody else, uh, God uh, will create two for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So if we are going uh, to make this connecting flight, uh, during the administration of Evangelist Morrison if uh, we're going to make the transfer uh, to the next dimension we cannot uh, progress at a horse and buggy tempo uh, in a lear jet age uh, finally the third key word uh, that we're going to close on is the word uh, transformation uh, the word transformation Transformation is defined as Rikatobahoko Shekhetemanda. Yes, Lord. Just reach over and grab somebody by the hand and tell them God has promised to bring you out of the process. But you'll never come out of it until you first praise Him while you're in the midst of it. So everybody that's in a process uh, that has you uh, in between uh, Alpha and Omega, uh, stop right there and praise God right where you are. Yes, Lord, put your hand and say yes. You see the word transformation. Uh, and I told you I wasn't going to be long. It is a process of profound and radical change that orients an organization in a new direction. You can keep on coming, Amari, because I'm getting ready to go to my seat. It is an orientation and the direction that Tate Shaya that takes an organization to an entirely different level. Now, now Frida, I'm about to step out on a limb, but we walk by faith and not by sight. I'm going to prophesy that on next year, at the end of the IPYPU convention, that we will elevate from 1,000 worshipers to 10,000 in one praise. Shake your neighbor's hand and tell him you probably thought that Pastor Tyson was going to say we would go from 1,000 to 10,000 in one year. But God said it ain't going to take that long for me to do what I promised you. What you got to understand is that right now in this moment, you are one praise away from a total transformation everywhere in your life. Praise Him. You got to grab somebody by the hand and tell them obviously you either didn't hear or you don't believe what God just said. God said you're one praise away from a total transformation in every area of your life. So if you're looking down the road, waiting on somebody to praise him on your behalf, you won't miss your moment. Waiting on somebody to create what's only in your mouth. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all. Shout hallelujah. Shout out a shout. Shout hallelujah. Look down your row and tell everybody on your row, it's already in you. It's already in you. It's already in you. Everything that you need to 
intentional enactment and cutting edge show winning strategy is going to happen because of intentional and intense praise and worship preparation and yet oh oh she can't get out the house lay her hand on your neighbor and say neighbor whatever dimension you want God Show up here in your home church. Praise him like that right now. Wait a minute. Grab him by the hand. And tell them that was pretty good. But that's not the kind of prayer that opens blind eyes. That's not the kind of prayer that dissolves tumors. That's not the kind of prayer that heals cancer. You will have to crank your praise up to another level and let the high praise be in your mouth. Yes, he 
got to tell you, I asked the Lord, just let me live long enough to get to the convention. The devil tried to kill me for the last four months, and I thought I was going to die. But I asked the Lord, just let me get to the convention, because I have one last impartation to leave you before I go to glory. And I want to tell you, God has authorized me on today to release the glory of two generations over this house. So right now, by the authority of a survivor, by the authority of somebody that's been the hell and come back alive by the authority of the apostolic anointing. I release the mantle of Mormon Wagner over this house. Open your mouth and receive it. I release the mantle of Jane over this house, open your mouth and receive it. I release the miracles of Mildred Boys over this house. Grab somebody by both hands and look them in the eye and tell them from this praise forward the anointing to raise the dead is in your hand. The anointing to cast out devils is in your hand. The anointing to heal the sick is in your hand. Open your mouth. Clap your
happen for me. But this next dance is for my future. Say I praise him for what he did in the past. But this next dance is for what I'm receiving in my transformation. It's for what I'm going to get in my transfer.
years. Tell you they perfect tricks of a kid. Say if you wanna play games, go to the baseball field. If you wanna play games, go to the basketball court. But when you step up here, with the happy happy you, we think this is for the kingdom. Church! Bishop Lance Foster, freedom traveling there already. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And the Lord give you peace. We will be needed this time around this time next year. I believe in Cincinnati, Ohio. Get your mama to the convention. Get your daddy to the convention. Tell all your cousins and your cousins still they need to be in the convention. Because we transition. We've experienced the transfer. And you shall see the transformation. Saints, do me a favor. Don't go out of here talking. Don't go out of here lollygagging. Take this praise with you. If you got to go get your back, Thank you.